So far, a total of four cows have tested positive for the disease across the entire United States. Well, when you hear the term cross-training, you probably think of big sporting events like triathlons. Cross-training definitely helps athletes who compete in a variety of sports, but it can also be really good for you. Dr. Milady Murphy is here from Shelton's Health and Wellness Center to tell us about the benefits of cross-training. Dr. Murphy, nice seeing you. Pleasure, Danny, always. You know, according to the American College of Sport Medicine, cross-training is just not for athletes anymore. It's for all of us, Danny. What the studies have indicated is that people who participate in cross-training type of activities are less susceptible to injury, more motivated, lose the weight faster, and uh, just perform better overall, whether it's recreation or just quality of life. There you are. Now, really quickly, what is cross-training, Dr. Murphy? Because to me, I, I have no idea what that is. I'm, I'm seeing, you know, a guy slaloming, and then I'm seeing, you know, maybe somebody running and jumping in water and swimming. I don't know. Is that it? Excellent question. Let's make it appropriate to the group that we, we ah, target. Okay. Um, it's it, actually, it's exceptional for the elderly, 50 and older. Mm -hmm. And I fall in that category, not you. You're still a child. <laughs> but anyway... The, the aging population should definitely get involved with cross-training activities. Cross-training activities is teaching people a combination of aerobic exercise like walking, mm -hmm. combining it with strength training activities, lifting light weights, mm -hmm. focusing on the core area to strengthen abdominal area and back, mm -hmm. and teaching people how to stretch. And, and as we age, those things become limited and we have less ability in strength, we have less ability in flexibility, and we have less ability in cardiovascular fitness. So the research is showing that people who engage, people who are 50 and over, in those type of activities, learning to combine strength training or resistance training with uh, cardiovascular exercises like walking or cycling, and learning how to mix it up in those areas, uh, with stretching exercises and core exercises and balance activities have less susceptibility to uh, injury, have more independence as they age, and, you know, as we age, that's, that's really important, and better quality of life. So personal trainers and exercise instructors are getting out there and teaching that age group the benefits of cross-training. Everything that you just described. Exactly. Great, great, great for seniors. Uh, now, seniors that may be, and a lot of times this is the situation, you know, this is uh, an age group of people that they grew up working, yes. and they had very physical lifestyles. Right. They didn't necessarily carve out time in their daily life to go to the gym. Right. Many of them don't even know where a gym's located at. Exactly. And now they're retired, yes. and maybe they're alone. It's just Good one point. of them. How do, where do they need to go? Where, where are some... Uh, how do they get started with something like this? Excellent question. You know, I'm a big fan and an advocate of hiring a personal trainer, someone that is knowledgeable in this area. The personal trainer becomes your support system, your motivator, your, your foundation of knowledge to guide you. Uh, if you like group exercise classes, think about joining a, a gym or a wellness center or a rec center that has group fitness activities that, that they're using this with the younger generation. They're using cross-training activities in group fitness uh, areas. So it's very easy to access the cross-training methodology, whether you do it in a health club or whether you hire a personal trainer. Uh, these people are now becoming very proficient uh, in their field in teaching not just athletes, but the mortals like us, hmm. how to see the benefits of, of cross-training. For, in, for longevity of the skill, uh, for weight loss, and, and to uh, help protect us against injury that can occur when you're just doing one thing, focusing without variety. All right, super. Dr. Murphy, we're out of time. Thank you very much for being with Pleasure, us. Pleasure, Danny, always. Absolutely mortal. Janie Wallace will think that's funny. <laughs> she thinks you're anything but mortal. The Health and Wellness Center is located at Shelton State Community College. You can find, found, you can find out more about them online, sheldonstate.edu.